of it is, is if you're working with it all the time, you always want to have additional media, additional batteries. And if you're like a consumer, regular, like, it's like my brothers, it's like, well, you know, I think I have enough. I'm never going to go through 8 gigabytes. Yep. What always happens is you don't clear off the media, yep. you go on vacation, you take more pictures, and then all of a sudden you find yourself going, oh, i got to delete some pictures. Oh, we've seen it. We've been in um, Las Vegas. And we'd be you no know, because we'll go across their ramps to shoot pictures, you know, like everybody. Right. You know, it's just like it's not as much like with tourists, it's because we want to have the background for stock stuff. But we'll see some guy with his family. Oh, I, you know, I didn't clear it off. You know, he's, he's he's went through the 30 gigabytes on his on the interior drive of his camera are oh, all his know? tapes that he's got with him. Yeah. You know, but the same thing, his flash media will be full, and he's sitting there, you know, on the flash media, or on the video, he's sitting there trying to, you know, one picture after another, one video, like after, what's to, important, you know. Yeah, but so you don't find yourself in that situation because the memory itself, 8 gigabytes for about $30. Yeah, all and, the and you can get it, you can really get good bargains on this stuff also. Yeah, I've seen them as low as like seventeen ninety nine for Yeah, off which is why we're over immediate on the small side at the moment because they were on sale. But uh, one of the things you should try to do is to try to get, it's a tip, try to get media that matches up with all of your equipment. Yeah, it's always a good part. Now going back to the video on here, I have to tell you, um, a lot of people, times people have a digital SLR and you're like, well, I could just get a digital SLR why do I need to pay extra to get the video included? Well, you don't. You don't. However, see what happens is if, say, a typical consumer has one um, video camera yep. and one digital SLR. And a camera phone. And a camera phone. And then they might have a little, um, actually, I've got a little Sony in there. Or they might, it's okay, we don't, oh. <laughs> you know, once again, it's a non-throwable object. Or you might have a little little point. To shoot. But we're, we're all over camera when we go on vacation because you okay. But uh, case in point, Nana Springchick went with her family to Alaska, and she took every piece of hardware we had with her. No, I left you with a little bit. Oh yeah, she left me with one. She left me with one one camera. You know, <laughs> that was what well, I had. Well, part of it is you don't know what situation you're going to be in, and my family. I knew that they would probably have equipment, but I didn't know how much they have or how much media because part of it is I bring extra media and extra batteries, yeah. which was great because then you could give it to another sibling and say, just take pictures. Yeah. Just take pictures. I'm shooting this angle. You shoot that angle. Yeah. But here's the cool part about the video is somebody else has a video camera. Oh, perfect thing. A perfect thing. You're at a different angle. You're trying to shoot the glacier on the family vacation. You're on one end of the ship and they're on the other end. So they're getting different shots than you are, which is a good reason for you to have multiple cameras. Yeah. But on the video, see here's the cool part, is sometimes you're in a situation where it's ex it's acceptable to have a digital SLR. Yeah. Because some places, they won't let you bring in cell phones because cell phones have cameras. Yeah. Right? Other places, they won't let you bring in video, but they'll let you bring in cameras. Yep. Yeah. It's more acceptable. Which is because they don't realize that there's video on the camera, too. It says, uh, you know, you can take all the pictures you want, but no video or sound recording. So you walk in with the, the SLR and you take the video. Well, not that we would ever do anything like that. No, but uh, families always tend <laughs> families to do that. Okay. Do that. And, a, and a perfect example is Disneyland, mm -hmm. where they say no, you know, no, they, flash photography. no flash photography and no video or audio recording. And they're sitting there, they don't, you know, they say, oh, he's got an SLR, he's got the flash off. He's not going to get anything anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah. What, with he, something like this, you can't. And it does work because we have used it in, we have used it in the dark. And I, just, we were, well, actually, we did it because we wanted to see how the equipment worked, not because, you Oh, know. yeah. Well, you know, here's the other cool part is because this takes video versus the other, um, it allows you to have one piece of equipment because like my sister travels all the time for work but she doesn't want to carry a lot of equipment with her and you know it's great because the, the little video cameras they come out they're really little now yeah some of them oh yeah the flip things are, are, are really, you know, like the, the size of the cell phones yeah but so what happens when you go to video on this Oh, okay. What happens when uh, he's just going over? What happens when you go on a video with this? When you compare this to a video camera, it's not going to have all the functions like you would have on a video camera. 
In fact, the, while it shoots video, it's a little bit cumbersome, and you're not quite certain in some areas, but you can do it. Yeah. So, no. for example, okay. Okay, no, it's just, it's just a unique, it's just, it's really easy once you get the hang of it. That the first few times you use it, for, okay, the, a drawback on it, it doesn't tell you how much time you're shooting. Oh, yeah. The other part is when, when you're shooting video. Yeah, you stand, you can't see through the eyepiece, you have to look through the back screen, which you also... But you, you, can, you can still focus going back and forth like this when yeah, you're shooting video. Right. And there's a, you have, the, the client kind of try and make this fail safe, so once you put it on the movie, then you have to press another button for autofocus, yeah. you have to press another button to do video. That's right. You set it up, you set it up, okay, it goes, uh, turn it to video, set it, push the autofocus, push the record, and then push the and then, trigger. And then you push the trigger. You're using the same button that you use to take a picture. Yeah. To turn, basically, it turns the video on and off. And, and also, once again, at the bottom, after you finish your video, you, you shoot, you push the trigger, which you also have to push the off button on the video. Yeah. Which is that little red light you see generally on your video camera on the outside. It's on the inside. It's on the inside of here. And you know, part of it is I always forget to turn that off. And I know. So I'm we, like, get, we get lots, we've got some nice shots of your feet. <laughs> of my feet because I think I turned the camera on off. On the ceiling. And, and I'm like, how do you turn it off? So I just end up turning the entire camera off. Yeah, she keeps forgetting. You just got to push the little thing. And there's a, like I said, it's a little red. There's a little, little red button, red on, button the on the back. You push that, the video will shut off. Yeah. So, it's so easy. Yeah. But, you know. Oh, here's the other cool part is when you're shooting video, you can you take the initial shot because a lot of times you're shooting video and you're going, oh, I really wish I could take a picture of this. And the video, the picture you capture off of video capture yeah. is never the same as if you just took a picture. Right. This one, you can do both. Yeah. This one is um, because this is a, a, a unique feature about QuickTime, which is MOV versus TODs and the other, and MPEGs, is that it is actually a better quality to work with. You think so? Well, yeah. Uh, they uh, always just say it's a wrapper. Well, no, but it's, uh, you, you can't, we can't do stock except in uh, Oh, MLBs. one of the companies, yeah. Yeah, and QuickTime tends to be more universal across equipment, across, the, okay, most of your computers do QuickTime instantly, but a lot, okay, we have, okay, there's the difference out there, you can buy cameras, with MOVs, MODs, TODs, MPEGs, and you know, like I said, it's basically there's an ungodly amount of images, but the software does not the software that you get. Oh. You know, you could, like you, the software that comes to your computer may not cover what your camera has. That's true, and you always hope that they include software with it. They don't always. They don't always do, do it. That. This comes with software. I don't remember if I put it in. I came with the software. Yeah, you did. You put it in for yeah. thing. But uh, no, but uh, it's 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 once you get the hang of it, because like I said, what we did, we did, we just went out mostly and shot some scenery for a little while to get the hang of using the equipment versus the other stuff. But it's it's simple. I mean, in our case, we can you know, I can change lenses rapidly in the things. You know, I just and you know, I could just pop out, you know, like that, that. Oh, and change the. That quick on that one, you go pop out that one, pop off the end on that one. Well, it's the same difference. Oh, that's true, it is the same because you just move the it same back setup. And forth. If you have one camera, you have the same setup on all the cameras. So the um, the one thing I find a little bit cumbersome is that on the old camera, when you want to kill the flash, because there's some situations where it's a no flash situation. There's an easy button to press to change that. Yeah. On this one, you have to change a setting, get yeah. to another one, and right. so it's like three or four different moves to turn off the flash. Yeah. Versus this one. Yeah, um, but it's just a difference in things. Like we, I show you, I went one off camera. I got this is, you know, one of our media bags. It shows, you know, how much media that we actually play with when we go to events. Well, and actually, this is just the compact flash. We've got yeah. a different one for memory sticks. And also a different one for SD cards. Yeah, because we try to keep them separate. I mean, this one, this one, okay, this one right here holds about as much memory as we have in a few, okay, I think we got like three of these things, mm -hmm. and it's got actually, this holds, all of this holds as much memory as, as three of these things. <laughs>